everybody. I am Laura and welcome back to Confident Notions. I was like, oh, look at me not playing with my hair, but I am. So today for you, did I just burp? That's weird. Sorry. That was gross. I'm not going to edit it though because it's me. So I digress. It's been a long day, long day. I'll go into it a little more, but um, I started a new job last this week um and my days are jam-packed absolutely jam-packed sitting on zoom meetings so it's cool it's really awesome though but i'll talk more about that anyways if i haven't already if i have you'll know what i'm talking about if not i don't know i haven't filmed the video yet so we'll see when i post it anyways so i do have a dollar tree haul a video for you today so these are some things that i picked up last week i needed to run out and get some stuff for my daughter's birthday party which wasn't a party but it was her birthday but I looked at the birthday stuff that I had and I was like oh I don't have any like balloons and stuff and so anyways of course I picked up some other things let's be real it's me so let's get into it the first thing I picked up are these Hatchimals and I picked up actually six of them right so I picked up six of these bad boys and because I had not seen the Hatchimals before, and as you know, I'm low-key obsessed with blind bags and boxes right now. Why? I don't know, but I am. So this is a better thumbnail. Anyways, um, so I did pick up six of these because I wanted to see what was in them and like Hatchimals are a thing, but I don't really know what I'm getting. So I figured, ah, well, six bucks, right? If we'd have parties again, I don't know, maybe I'd give them away to other people. Anyways, so I thought I would show you this. I did open one and I'll be completely transparent with you. I had no idea what to do with it. I will not open it, open it, but I will tell you about it. I literally opened this thing and I couldn't figure out how to make the thing come out of the egg. So I had to Google it and I felt like, I'm like, come on, Laura, like you're a smart person. Like you should be able to figure out how to get a Hatchimal out of this plastic egg. No. I ended up getting like a tweezer and popping it open, but come to find out that's not how it works. So you get this little egg. Oh, it's not an egg. Oh, it's a seashell. It's actually a seashell. I literally had to go to the Hatchimals website and was like, what do you do with this? So anyways, so you get this little, it's actually a seashell, but it kind of looks like an egg because it has a base on it and it has this hinge. And I thought, oh, maybe it opens. You see that? But it's not a hinge. It just looks like a hinge. So apparently what you're supposed, and I put it in water, and then finally, I was just like, I don't get it. So anyways, what you're apparently supposed to do, because it doesn't tell you on the box either. It doesn't tell you how you're supposed to open this damn thing. All it says is don't put it, don't swallow it or put it in your mouth. Well, I mean, those weren't like my first two options. I wasn't like, hmm, how do I open this? Let me eat it and then spit it out. No, my first thing is let me get a tool because that's how people should think. But apparently not. Apparently, I just put it in their damn mouths. Anyways, so apparently what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to hold this in your hand until the the shell, until this heart turns, turns pink. And when the heart turns pink, it opens. My hands are cold all the time though. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get hot enough to crack this dang thing. I need like a steamy hand. Also, it doesn't look like that heart is like a color, just something or other. It literally just looks like it's painted on. So I'm not going to hold this thing the whole time, but just for these couple of seconds I've been talking, still still purple. So if you get these for your children, instead of going through the fun of how can I hatch it, maybe you're supposed to sit on it. Maybe you can like sit on it like an egg. Oh, Hatchimals. Anyways, I don't get it. Oh, wait, it's getting ch changing colors. Okay, I can, I'm not going to do this the whole time, but understand that it's not easy to, to do, okay? Just, just get that. So I did get a couple of those just to see what's inside. Rub the heart for color change. I don't know. I had to Google it. Okay. So the next thing I got, and I think in one of the other videos I did, I did get two of these. This is the Lost Kittens blind bag. I will tell you that the compound Play-Doh inside of here is much nicer than the one that came in that little carton. That carton one was gross. This one, it kind of opens like a baby bell cheese and it's got a little mouse in it. Small mouse. Though. It's small. 
to go along with that this is the last one of the littlest pet shop you get two tiny characters in here like small enough to put up your nose characters not that you should but you could so i was you know what happened here's what happened because i was watching people like haul like poly pocket and then i saw littlest pet shop and i thought it was the same but it's not the same look these are all the toys that they didn't have when i was a kid because i'm a child of the 80s right so like we didn't have this i had a cabbage patch kid and you didn't get that at the dollar tree it's not pink yet i'm sorry i need to put this oh shit i cracked it <laughs> oh 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 god there's oh shit there's twins in here the other one didn't have that oh that's weird okay i got two little birds Sorry, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting this. Sorry. <laughs> it like broke. I thought, I was like, oh my God, I've like killed whatever animal was inside. And then I remembered it wasn't real. Okay, so I got two little birdies that are bobbleheads, I guess. Okay, it's been a long day. I had all of like a 15 minute meeting in my breaks today like a 15 minute break through my meetings today. My meetings start at eight tomorrow. Okay, moving on. Um, I did also pick up another one of these green glass jars with the Nautilus shell on the top of it. Why? Because I only bought one. What you will learn about Lara is I need some symmetry. So things either come in twos or threes because threes you get a nice arrangement, five is too much, three is just right. Same thing with the twos, you just can't have one. You need two to offset it, right? Then it looks weird otherwise. This would have been really cute. Like if I was still like the CAB chair, um, this would be a cute thing to give to like my board members and like fill it with like some stuff in it and give it to them at the end of the year, but I'm not, so we're good. Let's see, what else did I get? Um, I found these, these were new and I thought they were so cute. Remember, what did I say? I gotta get two, right? So these I thought were really cute. It says potted lavender. And like for a dollar, they're kind of cute. Like they aren't like totally busted. I mean, they're not like awesome, but they're cute, right? So I thought this would be like a nice addition like up on the mantle because I have like a, a floral thing that I made for. And so it just adds like some more floral accents or you could put it on your desk. I'm not putting it on my desk because I already got a monitor and all this other crap up there. And I'm messy at my desk just messy okay um not fun stuff i got this home store professional carpet refresh it says it is foam no vacuum needed so it says pet fresh with and it neutralizes odor with baking soda and i guess you spray it and it's like foam that goes on your floor and it makes your floor not smell so bad um helps remove smoke cooking musty odors from your carpet without having to vacuum <laughs> eliminates deep down odors residue free blah 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 blah. so i do have pets i have a dog who stays inside i have two cats who we invite inside but prefer to live on the back porch so who am i to say otherwise um i have a husband and a small child so we need to make sure the carpet smells okay <laughs> then i also got another thing of dawn dish soap I have a tiny Dawn that like this size bottle that I keep refilling with a big bottle and I thought the big bottle that I was refilling with wasn't Dawn but I found out that it was Dawn so I don't really need this but you know what look you always need some Dawn um oh, that doesn't smell bad that smells good what is this pomegranate and rose water scent I don't smell the rose seven fluid ounces so for those of you who don't know um dawn dish soap is really great for getting grease stains out of clothes as well so when you have um a husband and a small child you've got a lot of stains to get out of people's clothes because you have low-key like can't deal with when there's stains everywhere so dawn works really well for that i had to resort to like so fun fact like this shirt right here i got it from target and it's super cute the first day like within like minutes of wearing it i made my daughter some like totino's pizza rolls and she had never had them before and she didn't like them and like the pizza roll goo like spurred it out on this shirt i could not get the stain out it took me like literally two weeks of working on it and i had to make a paste out of like oxyclean 
and like oxyclean powder and water and i let it sit there and i've washed it like four times i told my husband i was like look we're not gonna have any messy food today and i'm not eating any messy things because it took me two weeks to get this shirt clean again truth so i picked up this as well <laughs> so this a tiny little picture thing does that work yeah that's that should work fine. And so the reason why I got this is because as it's going to get warmer and my daughter wants to play outside all the time and when it's nice out there and she wants to play like in her pool and on our water table, I thought this would be cute to have out there with just like ice cubes and so that way she could like in like a little cup. I should buy Dixie cups. I should buy some little cups too. They have something really similar at school whenever she goes to school because it's still closed. Um, and so I thought that she would because she already knows how to like work this little thing here. So I thought that would be cute to have outside. Just like fill it with some ice or whatnot. Speaking of hot, I picked up another one of these. Again, my daughter and look, there's some more of these in, in another bag somewhere, but she can't stop eating fruit stops. Like she loves them. And I figure like these aren't too too bad. So two serving size is three bars. Three bars is 170 calories. Do your math, Laura. It's like 35-ish calories. Yes. It's not. It's like 50-some calories. Anyways, it's like 55 calories. Yeah. Okay, so I picked up these Italian ices. I'll be honest, the orange cream ones are delicious, and they only give you one. So I literally buy these for this one orange cream that I eat. And then it gives you these green ones, these kiwi watermelon that nobody cares about. And these raspberry ones are good and the lemon's good, but this one's the best. <clears throat> Anyways, she enjoys those. And I like the orange cream and I only get one. So I guess I get one orange cream for a dollar. I also picked her up, speaking of this, um, this little H2 blaster water squirt gun. And it's like a... I don't know why it has this little thing on the end, but they all did, so... I wonder if this is what you put like under the water and then you anyways i bought her squirt guns like the three pack of squirt guns and she was obsessed obsessed with it i had more fun though with it but anyways okay next up i got two packs of the vitamins i did i was looking for the melatonin because that shit works like the melatonin was good but i couldn't find it so instead i got another one of these vitamin d3 because i figured can't hurt and then I also picked up this hair, skin, and nails, which in hindsight, I'm kind of regretting. And I'll tell you why. I don't want my hair to grow. It's too long as it is. If it grows more, I'm going to be forced to cut it myself. And I'm going to be in big trouble with my hairstylist. Also, the more that it grows, the more grays that come in, I'm going to have to recolor it again. I run the risk of messing it up even more than I already have. And again, I get yelled at by my hairstylist. Now for the nails, nails keep growing, right? But the polish doesn't stay long enough to... To not work because you know this one is actually stand on pretty well anyways I love black nails. so hair skin and nails i'm sure like one dollar bag of this isn't gonna like cause two inches of hair growth fingers crossed okay um a couple other things here so i had already hauled this because it happened to be in the bag but i ended up getting three of these um smackers nail polishes for kids so I think, I'm sure this should be the peel off kind. The dog's barking. I keep hoping that it's the, it's the Amazon guy because the head of IT for my new company, since we're, everybody's working remotely and like starting at a new company remotely is kind of interesting. Anyways, he's supposed to be sending me a wireless keyboard and mouse for the computer that he already sent me. And I'm like, is it, is it my mouse? Is it my keyboard? Anyways, so we got Olaf, Anna, and Elsa in different colors. So I, it doesn't say, but I really hope it is. We find out. Find out. Anyways, I should love that. Let me paint my nails. Okay, baby, I'll paint your nails. Speaking of kids, I got her two books. She is low-key obsessed with Daniel Tiger. This is Daniel Tiger Visits the Library. Um, I may or may not already have this one because we have a multitude of Daniel Tiger books. Now, let me tell you something about Daniel Tiger. So, right, Daniel Tiger is an extension of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. This is, like, Daniel Stripe Tiger, and then all the other people had other babies, like, all about the same time, and then it's those. So, you got, like, 
Exial's nephew O and Henrietta Kitty Cat had a baby and that's Katerina and I'm going way too deep into folks here but Mr. Rogers Neighborhood is um Mr. Rogers filmed in Pittsburgh I'm from outside of Pittsburgh so like Mr. Rogers was like a huge thing so on there's like a neighbor segment so if you got little kids you know what I'm talking about but like the neighbor segments are like hey let's go visit our neighbors and so all of those are shot in Pittsburgh and so I like low-key blow my child's mind because there was one the other day and they were playing um they were flying kites in Shenley Park and you can see the Cathedral of Learning at the University of Pittsburgh in the background and I'm like Morgan mommy went to school there and she's like mm-mm I'm like, no, 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 look, see there, that's a Cathedral of Learning. When you go to the University of Pittsburgh, you have classes in the Cathedral of Learning and mommy went to school there. And she's like, like I blew her mind. So anyways, the fun part is like when I yell at things that like they do. So there was one episode, I'm going in deep. I might actually do a video about like Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood because I have some theories on Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood and there's a Reddit page on Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. Anyways, there was another one and it was like, learning how to be okay when you say no. And they went to Prannell's Bakery in Shadyside, Squirrel Hill. They went to Prannell's in Squirrel Hill. And she's like, can I have a cookie? And her mom's like, no, we're here for bread. And I'm yelling at the screen. I'm like, you give that child a cookie, they have a damn ass good cookies there. Like you get a good cookie at Prannell's. Anyways, and a frozen book. I was gonna put this in my car so she would have something to look at. Um, when we're in the car. Okay, a couple of other things, I'm going long. Um, I picked up another one of these candle making sets. I already hauled one of the blue ones and I have a bag somewhere with other colors too. So I was not sure how this worked and then I figured out that you just, you, all these, you get the bags of this. And these things smell like they're strong. They're way stronger than like some of the candles you get at the DT. So basically you just like pour the, 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 the crumbs in there and make, and make shapes. I'm down with that. Then a couple of other random things, uh, kid stuff. I got the headband with the sharks on it. This made more sense. I previously had hauled the one with the dinosaurs on it. Why are there dinosaurs for luau's? I don't know. These make a lot more sense though. All right. Then I also picked up a boring cutting board, but sometimes you need a cutting board. I already have a cutting board, but this one had a handle on it. And I had one about this size, but Sometimes you need a cutting board about this size for small things, right? Then, um, boring stuff, LA Colors Loose Powder in Light. Why? Because I am pale, and so I have to get a light color. I was gonna use this as more like a, like a setting powder, so I'll see like how light it is, and maybe I should have bought translucent, I'm not sure. Um, they didn't have that anyways, but I did pick up this one in light. Then, another pad because I can't stop and this one says taco about a good day it's a taco pun you can't have a pun about tacos what can you have and the last but certainly not least thing I don't know if I should even show this but I and I'm not going to show you like this because you're going to get this but it is a it's a mirror with um and I thought this um, this white filigree was so pretty. I actually bought three of these, so it must be another bag. And so when I haul it, you'll see the other two. But I bought three of these because I thought they would make a really cool thing on the wall. And again, right, Laura, this was one of those things like two would be weird, but three is aesthetically pleasing. So picked up that too. All right. So that is all for me today. So I hope you like videos like this. Apologies uh, about my rant about Daniel Tiger, but I could talk a long time about Daniel Tiger and about how I think they live in a post-apocalyptic society that is run by trolley. But anyways, so apologies about that. Not really, because that's me. That's why it's notions. Um, and for being a low-key scared when I hatched an animal. So if you like videos like this, do please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for all of those new subscribers and the folks who've come along recently. I know y'all are bored because of this quarantine and if I can help make you a little less bored than, um, then I feel good about that. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.